Welcome to Ruby Thursday. I'm Melissa Wanish. This is Ruby Snack number 31. We're going to start a mini series about deploying to AWS EC2. This is part one. We're going to set up the AWS account and the IAM user. Amazon is very focused on security. That's great. What that means is that there are several steps involved in getting set up in order to use their services. What you'll learn in this episode is how to sign up for AWS services and then how to create an IAM user. If you'd like to code along, we're just really working on the AWS site and we'll be following this documentation here for Get Set Up for Amazon EC2. Now, the documentation on AWS, to me, is like a maze. There's lots of links that go off to other things that if you want to learn about, and then sometimes you come back to where you started. Sometimes you need to go in a little corner, finish that, and then come back to where you were. It just means you need to have some patience when going through the documentation. And you need to take your time and read very carefully to see if what they're talking about is actually what you need. There are ways to create a very full, complex set of services, and sometimes you just don't need all that. In this mini-series, I'm going to give you enough to deploy your Rails app on EC2. First up, we need to create that AWS account. It's pretty similar to signing up for any other kind of service. You visit the site, you fill out the forms. They do verify your identity through a phone number and a phone call. So be sure to have your phone nearby. And we are going to pick the basic plan that will be free for 12 months. If you already have an AWS account and it's already past that 12 months, if you just want to play around with building an EC2, I definitely recommend opening up a new account with a different email address because the EC2 is pretty expensive on a monthly basis and they charge you just for having it on. It's not like S3 that's very, very, very cheap. Here we are on the main page for the AWS services. Let's create a new account and then choose I am a new user. For time's sake, I'm gonna fill in some of these things. It does not allow you to put in a password. Let's click Create Account. And again, just filling it out for you and then clicking Create. I'm going to create just a personal account. Then I'll skip to the next part so you didn't see all my personal info. The next part is verifying your identity. So it's going to call me and I got the phone call and I put in the pin number and then the page auto refreshes once that phone call is over. And then you can click to pick a plan. Again, we're picking the basic plan, which is free for 12 months. And click continue. It does not auto sign you in, so now you need to go ahead and sign in again. So sign in. And this time you're returning user and you enter your password and you sign in. And here you are with all of the different products. Next, we need to create the IAM user. We'll visit the link to create the IAM user. We first need to create a group for administrators. Then we create an IAM user for yourself, add the user to the administrators group, and then create a password for the user. Then we find our account number, and then we sign in as the IAM user which is your account ID, and then sign in AWS Amazon console. By creating an IAM user, you're adding an extra level of security. In case that IAM user gets compromised, your whole account isn't compromised. That's why we're signing in again as an IAM user. Back in our browser, let's go ahead and paste in that link to go to the IAM console. And now we'll add a group so over to groups then create a group we're going to call this administrators then you go to the next step and you want to give them full privileges which is the first checkbox and next step and create the group great now you go over to users create a new user and i'll just make it my first name melissa and create that user You'll want to download those credentials. We'll be using those in another episode. And then close that window. Now we're going to add that user to the group. So click on the user and then add to a group. And there's the administrators and add to the group. Now we'll go to the security credentials 
and you see that the key is there. We've downloaded the secret to it. Now we're going to manage the password. We're going to add a new password to make it even more secure. Put that in and apply. Be sure to write all of these down. Lots of different passwords for Amazon. Now let's go find our account number. Click on your name, my account, and there's the number there at the top. So copy that, and now we're gonna sign out, and then sign back in as the IM user. I've gone to that link that has my account number and then the console, put in my password and signed in. So now we get the same set of products, but this time we're logged in as the IM user. We have a couple more things to set up and we'll do that in the next episode. To be sure you don't miss that episode, be sure to sign up to my mailing list by heading on over to rubythursday.com. And if you are not already, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Click that big red button right there to do so. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks again for watching and see you soon.